hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be reviewing the tarte shape tape concealer this is like all the rave all over youtube and i have not tried it yet i don't know why i just haven't but here is the tube i'm gonna be using fair let's just open this thing up i have most of my makeup on i'll be applying the little things after because i'm gonna bake it and then i'll put my like highlight and then setting spray and mascara on but everything else is already on this thing is huge like way bigger this is bigger than even like lip color <laughs> applicators Alrighty, so let's just take this pretty thick looking so far All right, so under the eyeballs, and the nose, this way, in between the brows. All right, me, and this out real quick. And I'll it all blend it out. Now I'm just gonna take my Fit Me powder and bake this a little bit. I'm just gonna press under first. Just because this is like heavier than I'm used to under my eyes. I'm just going to take my bake. Alright, the zebek is on. While that is on, I'm going to put on mascara really quick. I'm just going to add a tiny bit of my highlight. Okay, I'm just gonna pat off the big. Alrighty, I'm just gonna spray my face with setting spray. So, a little bit closer. Alright, obviously it's fresh, so it doesn't look bad. Um, it's a little heavy for me personally, but it's not the worst thing ever. It just like looks really bright which is good it's not a bad thing we'll have to see how it wears throughout the day though if it starts creasing or getting icky or anything like that but as of right now obviously i just put it on so it looks really good it looks pretty it looks blended out nice under eyes look nice and bright so i look like i slept a good night's rest and everything which is always important so as of right now i like it we'll see in a few hours my nose is the biggest one my nose looks like I have makeup on it, so that's really cool. Hopefully it stays that way. And yeah, so far so good. Not bad at all. I understand if it stays this way, the rave of it. But if it doesn't, no, 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 no. I will check in with you guys in just a few hours and let you know what I think of it after it's kind of set on my face and like lived a little throughout the day and all that good stuff. So I will see you guys in a little while. Hey guys! So I'm doing a check-in. I've been wearing this for about seven <laughs> hours now and it looks good. I should probably grab a mirror. Okay, let's look at this. Alright, it looks pretty good. It's held up well. It's not doing too many crazy things. It still looks bright and whatever. It hasn't moved really. It's not too creasy or anything like that, so it doesn't suck. It is $27. Just in case you didn't know. So let's get a close up for you peoples to see what I look like with this concealer. So this is it up close. That's what it looks like on me. Get you really close to my one eyeball. So do you see? It doesn't look too bad. It's not creasing too much or anything like that. It's blended out still well. It's sitting on my face. And yeah, that's what it looks like all up close and personal. So, do I think this product is worth the price? Do I think it's worth $27? Not necessarily. I get it looks good, like it's not doing too many crazy things on my skin. But I feel like for the price, it's a little overpriced in my opinion. I feel like you can go buy a concealer for like 6 bucks, and it's going to work just as good from like other companies. So, I like it. Do I prefer it over certain things? I honestly love my Bare Mineral one. So, it's... Kind of hard to get me off of that one. This one's pretty. Would I switch to it? Probably not. I'd probably stick to my Bare Minerals. I just like how it looks better on me personally. My Stroke of Light by Bare Minerals is 18 at on Bare Minerals website and then it's 23 at Ulta. So I would just buy it on the website personally. So it is a lot cheaper than the Shape Tape. But hey, it's your choice. If you don't mind spending that much money, then you knock yourself out and you have fun with that Shape Tape and you go crazy. Would I personally spend $27 on it? 
No. Did I spend $27 in it? No. I borrowed it from a friend that got it just to see if I liked it before I were to go purchase it. I think I'm going to stick to my stroke of light, but it is pretty. Like, I will give it that. It is very beautiful. I get why everyone's so obsessed with it. I personally didn't know it was that expensive just because I haven't paid it any mind, really. I just know, like, everyone in the world uses it. And I was like, oh, this is probably, like, super affordable, but it's, like, kind of pricey for, like, a concealer. I can understand a foundation, but a concealer... So yeah, anyways, that is on my opinion at the moment. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Tell me if you like the shape tape or if you don't like the shape tape. Because I know some people don't love it. And I know some people are obsessed with it. So you guys should let me know in the comment section. And if you have not already, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!